What's up, guys? So, off uh, the, the gay cap, I picked up this little uh, awesome 12 volt computer fan power supply variable speed and off switch. So, it's actually got a click at the end and then variable up. It's actually made to drive up to two fans. I only give you one plug though. A bit scungy. So, you got two fans on one side and then you got a 12 volt on the other. So the majority of the fans obviously have a similar kind of push plug with three pins or two pins like this. This one over here is a three pin one, but anyway. Now, they rate them at up to two amps. And I believe I paid something stupid like $2 for it, including shipping. So what we're going to do tonight is wire it up to my extractor fan. This beast here. Which pulls two, 2.6 or something at 12 volts. So it's voltage draws a little bit more. Uh, current draws a little bit more. Of course, I'd say voltage draw. So, what I'll do is I'll get it all set up for some solder and we'll uh, go ahead with that. Alright, soldering iron's ready. Give these just a quick lick. But um, what I will do is probably terminate these with a couple of um, screw terminals. So that's uh, nice and easily removable. For the time being, we'll do it this way because I don't know if the controller is going to last or if it'll just fizz under the, the current load. It's a bit ironic soldering the cables on your uh, fume extraction fan. Alright, so as soon as we put power to it, we get a red LED. I'm not sure whether the uh, click is like a bypass mode to flat out, or whether it is off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way to the to the right and assume that that's off. Let's see what happens. Okay, so all the way to the left is in fact that click is actually a isolation. So let that run for a minute. Let's see if it gets hot. I'm tipping it might get quite warm. I don't think it's made for this kind of... Yeah, no, nah, that's going to cook the IC. Transistor, rather. No, way too hot. I'll shut that down before it actually melts. Alright, so that fan just pulls way too much power. Which is a shame. But, at least I know it. it is actually controlling it. Like it's... Allowing that to ramp up and down. And that's that's a substantial fan. That's actually a um, old Pentium 4 or early, really early, like dual core um, computer that I did have. Um, what was that? Spec that. Something stupid like 3 gigahertz and a 3.6 gigahertz overclock. No, it was single core, that's right. It was good because it had a fair bit of power, but it made so much heat that that fan used to like rev flat out all the time and make a ton of noise. That's a bit of a disappointment. That's uh, 
as a motor speed control it's not not strong enough to uh, handle that for two dollars I shouldn't have expected too much but has done it right it will work awesome for those little uh, like the 80mm box shape uh, impeller blade fans rather than this kind of drum fan configuration up here so when I'm soldering I'm going to have to listen to it flat out still that's what I was trying to get away from I think I might just have to wear headphones and listen to music instead and yeah thanks for watching YouTube if you like these kind of videos throw me a thumbs up every now and again and uh, got any questions about the little speed control board or what you might be able to use it for yourself just let me know and uh, once again I bought it off uh, geek. Thanks guys. Catch you in the next one.